Okay guys, we are still on the same video. We are going to discuss about how to balance the chemical equations. Wait, huh? um, we, actually, this is the second part of the video to balance the chemical equation. In the earlier discussion, we have discussed that we how to balance the chemical equation but I have introduced about reactant and the product. I have introduced the word of a coefficients and of also subscript. So always remember, we are only allowed to change the coefficient value, not the subscript uh, value. So I already explained about it. Let's proceed to the next section. That is the first step. <clears throat> On our second step, always remember, this is just a more or less repetitions. Only change. Only change the coefficient. Mm -hmm. This is a must. This is a must. Only change the coefficients. I give you another example on this part. Uh, let's say you have given a H2 and plus with the O2. Give you this will result in a H2O. Look at the equation that I confirm. It is much confirmed that now on the left hand side. On the left hand side and the right hand side, the amount of atom is not balanced. You can just do a simple comparison by list down the element. Once you have really, really confidence with the balancing equation, I will suggest to you it is unnecessary to write this table. You can straight away do at the, this particular equation. On my left hand side, on my left hand side, you can see this is your hydrogen. Okay, this is your hydrogen and oxygen on left hand side and right hand side okay left and right hand side so over here guys i do have a two hydrogen and two oxygen on my right hand side i have a two ox hydrogen and one oxygen day four the number of hydrogen is balanced somehow but unfortunately, the total number of oxygen is not balanced in both situations. So go back to the original equation. Go back to the equation. Our two is not uh, our hydrogen is not a main concern at the moment. Let's look the oxygen. I do have a two oxygen over here, but unfortunately, I have one oxygen over here. Therefore, in order to make this balance, it just simply I can remember the coefficient. The coefficient I can put a number two as over here. This coefficient value will be very very useful later in the calculations of the mole, particularly in the stoichiometric constants calculations. That will be another video I will upload. So, again, I have told you in my previous video, just multiply each of the atoms, the number, with the coefficients. So, now 2 times, the 2 times with the 2, I have got a 4. So, I need to make a corrections over here, 4. And the 2 over here, multiply with this oxygen is 1. 2 times 1 is the 2. Therefore, I cut it off. <coughs> I cut it off and become a 2. Let's compare on the left hand side and right hand side again. The total number of hydrogen now is balanced. Unfortunately, the total number of hydrogen on both hand side is not balanced. Again, please keep in mind you are all only allowed to change the coefficient, not the subscript uh, numbers. Don't suddenly put it over here. Oh, this is a four. No, the moment you change that small number, entire of the thing. It is not represent H2, uh, no longer represent, it is a H2, hydrogen gas molecule. It is something else. In fact, this thing never exists. This is wrong. This is wrong. Therefore, I'm going to erase this a bit. Okay, so I will remain number 2 in order to make it 2 and 4. Just a simple mathematic, 2 multiplied with an unknown number is a 4, which is the unknown over here definitely is a 2. This is your balanced chemical equation. <clears throat> okay, so guys, this is the second step. Uh, quite easy, nevertheless, but now uh, I'm going to teach you something a bit not really tricky. The step number three, uh, number three, yes, this is the step number three. 
Mm -hmm. Which is <coughs> and uh, is this the step number three, guys? Yeah, this is the step number three. This one it's dealing with dealing with a polyatomic ions. What do I mean by looking at the word itself? A polyatomic. Poly stands for a combination of many atoms. A poly stands for a combination of many atoms. If you look in the earlier examples, I do give you an atom. It's not a combination of an atom. It's just a simple molecule. Now I'm going to talk about poly is a combination of many atoms and it forms a charges. When I say an, uh, ions, please remember we do have a cation and we do have the anion. Something that positively charged and something do negatively charge. So what are the examples of a polyatomic? We have a plenty of it, such as we have a CO3, 2 minus. We might have a CH3, COO minus. Look at that example that I give you. This is a combination of atoms, more than one. And the, at the things that, the substance that form, it have a charge, basically have a charge. Therefore, this is what we claim as a polyatomic ions. I do. I can give you more examples. Definitely, let's look at that. I have a PO43 minus NH4 plus. More and more example, NMO4 minus. Uh, Cr2072 minus. I might give you SO42 minus and s 203 2 minus n, etc, etc. So what I'm trying to say, a polyatomic ions, when I say a polyatomic ion, is a combination of atoms. Atoms that have a charges is either a positive charges or negative charges. So please write it down this thing. Uh, if you have a question, you can put it on the comment sections. So let's proceed to the next part. We are still in the dealing with the polyatomic. So example, we are still on a polyatomic atomic ions. Let's say I do give you something quite scary. It's quite scary. CaSO4 plus NaNO3 and you have Ca. NO3 2 plus Na2SO4. Guys, some of the students, the moment they are looking at this equation, they will say, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? Remember, in this case, guys, I can simply say a lot of, a plenty of a polyatomic ions involved in this entire of the equation. Okay, in this equation. So let's break the polyatomic ions to a smaller part. <laughs> of course, we do have a Ca2 plus, SO42 minus, and we have a Na plus, NO3 minus. It's just a repetition again Ca2 plus, NO3 2 minus, uh, sorry, 2 minus, so minus. just a minus. <clears throat> then we have a Na plus. SO42 minus. This is the right answer. So, so guys, uh, in the earlier video, I teach you to put it in a table and you will balance each of the elements or atoms, left hand side and right hand side. Yes, you might do this also, but in my personal point of view, if you are doing this uh, uh, for uh, the table, for this kind of equation, I will say you are quite wasting your time. It's a very, very wasting of time. But nevertheless, if it is just a preliminary or just a, uh, for a beginner, a beginner to balancing your equation, I will say, yes, you still can proceed with this. But not make this as a habit, waste of time. So let's move on slowly. Okay, so... How to deal with a polyatomic ions? 
how to deal with the polyatomic ions. Always keep in mind, always keep in mind, the polyatomic ions, like this, we will assume it is one entire species, entire the whole species. It means we are not going to break those polyatomic ions into a smaller part and balancing it. No. The polyatomic ions, we assume it is an entire species, one whole thing. That's the whole thing. So look at here. Look at here on left hand side and right hand sides. I'm noticed, I'm noticed I have a one chlo uh, calcium. Uh, they use a red one, the calcium one and one. Yes, it is balanced. Then I told you, am I right? Look, this entire of the polyatomic as a one whole species, one whole thing. So SO4 here is one. And on the other hand, the SO4 also one. But nevertheless, look at the Na. I have one over here. On right hand side, I do have a two. Definitely, this is not balanced. So I'm going to place a two over here, the coefficient. The coefficient. So in my previous video, I have told you the coefficient will be multiplied according to the species in the molecule. So two times with one sodium, I get a two. Yes, I get a two. Okay, yes, it is balanced. And these two will be multiplied with the nitride this entire of the species so two times with this is as a whole species and two times one is two look at here on my right hand side this entire of the species whole things no3 is two two again it is balanced on the left hand side and right hand side so again i would like to rewrite this thing rewrite, rewrite this thing it becomes CaSO4 plus 2NaNO3 and give you N Ca N O3 2 plus Na2SO4. This bingo. This is the balanced chemical equation. So guy, Please stay tuned on my next section, how to balance the chemical equations. I will upload more video and will try it. So you have a question, you put it on the comment sections. And if you, have a, you want to communicate with me, you can communicate through my Instagram as usual. Dr. Hussein underscore chemistry. And please do subscribe my channel and share with the rest of your friends. Thank you.